And gentlemen, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. It's been a little bit, or it has for me, kind of. I, there's uh, so much stuff going on. And now we uh, we have we have dragons, lads. We have dragons. It is actually finally happening. George R. R. Martin wasn't lying. He's been saying for years we were going to have dragons. And now we have dragons. <laughs> Just not the dragons that he was talking about. The uh, the team behind the CQ Free Game of Thrones mod is kind enough to invite me back to uh, the early access creator thingy. So we've got our hands on this, and I intend to just record so much of it. So much of it. And just, yeah, upload as much as I can for you guys uh, in my schedule. I have put aside everything else. We are entirely focused on this. Much like Damon Targaryen putting aside his responsibilities to fuck off to the Stepstones and do whatever the hell he wants. The rogue prince has grown tired of waiting for a crown, believing he would be heir. He was a brash supporter of his brother, King Viserys, even raising an army in his brother's name. However, with Rhaenyra named heir and Viserys married once more, Daemon sees his chance at the throne crumbling. He is now determined to carve out his own kingdom, astride his dragon, Caraxes. He flies alongside the Valarian fleet to destroy the Tyraki's hold on the Stepstones. I am really excited for this, because the dragons look- I mean, I'll show you. Look. The dragons look, frankly, beautiful. Like, yeah. There's a lot of arguments to be made about whether CK2 is better than CK3. And I kind of think CK2 wins in a lot of ways. But just from like a storytelling perspective and a lot of things, the ability to see your characters in 3D and now see the dragons in 3D is a beautiful. I love it. It's great. Look at them. Look at them. It's beautiful, man. I step off the brack of Caraxes, removing my helm to survey the war camp before me. Banners of Targaryen and Valarion flutter in the wind. Soldiers preparing for an ex-offensive already. The island of Dwarfstone fell easily enough, but the rest of the Stepstones shall not be so simple. Though I may have been declined my birthright as Prince of Dragonstone, I will not let my brother regulate me to obscurity. I shall conquer the Stepstones and prove that the second son is the true heir to House Targaryen. No crab feeder will stop me. But yeah, the dragons are really cool. Can I open them at the barbershop? Is it going to crash if I do that? Oh god, they're T-posing. They're T-posing. Well, you know. The dragon riding mechanics is really cool, because you've got companions, basically, and then they add combat effectiveness and dragon sides effects like dragon, like, bow morale, I think. So cool, though. There are so many possibilities with dragons. There's so many ideas I had for uh, different playthroughs that we can now do that I didn't want to start until we had the dragons. But the gloves are off, boys. The gloves are off, so we can now kick some serious ass. Damon... Speaking of kicking ass, Damon is going to take charge of his forces and start with uh, going over here. Yeah, because in theory, because I have the dragon edge. What the? Come back here. They escaped. They eluded me. Damon, you fucked up. Ah, the Valorans is. Oh my god. Shit of him. Five parts. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll make short work of these pirate scum, lads. Yeah, Damon is not going to be calling anyone into the wall, lads. He can do this himself. He doesn't need any help. Fuck you. He is the rightful heir, he doesn't need the help of these lowborn, disgusting individuals. Who's that Lainor has claimed the dragon's sea smoke. As Lainor now commands one of the few mighty beasts in the realm, that's how he knows to be consumed by ambition. Sea smoke is a little, little little baby dragon right now. Ah! Use dragon, there we go. The siege of Den Maiden. Standing at my dragon Caraxes, although doubtless face them to surrender, no walls can protect them from dragon fire. No mercy, the keep will burn. It unleashed Caraxes during the defenses. Kill them all. Oh, burn the dragon flame. Caraxes have made of finer stuff. He will not dine upon pirate flesh. Incinerated by Caraxes the Bloodworm. Neat. Oh, they even added the burning sound effects. Oh, that's it. Those are nice. Monford Valerian is killed by him. We all attack him ourselves. Fastest bleeding dwarf stone. I think we just killed this. Yeah, we just killed him in single combat, I think. No, no, no. He's alive. The crab feeder lives. Landing secured. Victory. The first part of the Tender Admirals has been defeated. The heart of Stepstones is ours. It seems, however, that the SOC scum have caught wind of our actions and have joined the Crab Feeders' efforts to stop us. Furthermore, it appears that given their sent to the primary... Da -da -da, united, divided, hundreds of our ships and I shall not let them stop me. They shall learn the true meaning of fire and blood. Valoran? Valoran, get over here, my man. Is there not an option to, like, use Commander? U use a dragon in the battle? Am I missing something? Like, some kind of an ability to use the dragon in battle? There has to be. I would have thought there has to be an ability to use the dragon in battle. Are we winning? Yeah, no, I think we are. And battle roll. That's the thing. The battle roll is uh, really in our favor. Because I have a dragon. But will it be enough? I think so. 
Damon is just this much of a badass. Dude. Caraxes is carrying the battle, which makes sense. I'd love more. I do think that's what like CK3 Game of Thrones lacks in a way, but CK3 in general. I'd love more battle events. That's why I have the dueling mod. I'd love like you know the just so just some flavor of text events where you know Caraxes fucking flies down and burns a bunch of people and stuff like that. Let's look at that big uh, battle. There you go. Because we they had fourteen thousand men against our five thousand. Yep, they'll uh they will come back to attack me again. I have gained infected wound, which is not brilliant. Yeah, they're screwed. They cannot face the might of the dragon boys. Battle rages. Ah, the crab feeder is here. I can easily burn him from the sky, but I'll not have it said that I'm a coward. I shall land and face him in single combat. While wounded, Damon? While wounded? I pull I pull Craxes into a sudden dive. Scams comes out. I land in the sand, draw dark system, wordlessly raise her to challenge, come and die then. For a few brief moments, the crab fear and I place lazily in half circles, each watching for an opening. I have Dark Sister ready to defend myself with a sudden twitch. Our battle begins. Retaliates with smooths. I am the fastest blade in the first step stones. We'll evenly matched with victory balance of the knife edge. I have to show me to have the sword. Fastest blade. My form is excellent. With little chance of mistake. Have my opponent on the back foot. Fastest blade. Strike, parry, riposte. Yes! Goodbye, crab feeder. My sword arm moves as fast as lightning and strikes as hard as sundered stone. Honestly, it's admirable that the crab feeder is able to withstand my many sword blows as he does as I rain down on him with all the fury of a thousand storms. It takes a minute or two, but I eventually beat him into a bloody, twisted, screaming heap. Only when I am satisfied that there'll be no lasting chance as revenge do I administer the blow. Goodbye. With a stroke of Dark Sister, I separate the foul crab feeder's head from his neck, a shocked face tumbling down into the tides of blood as it arcs through the air. I hear Caraxes roar in approval, and I turn to see the Tyrekis forces breaking and fleeing back to their ships. With their general dead, their position in the narrow sea is doomed. The stepstones are mine. Damon got himself a bit fucked up in the process, but oh, victory's achieved. Damon does like jumping off of Caraxes' saddle, and like a, he's just an absolute chad, basically. King of the Narrow Sea, the Stepstones are mine. The fleet is in ruins and their armies scattered to the winds. I've been crowned the King of the Stepstones of the Narrow Sea. And the world now knows that at least one Targaryen still embodies his house's destiny. Though the Tyraki has been pushed back to the edge of these islands, it remains to be seen if they will accept their defeat, or if they will try to reclaim their lost lands. Though news of the next move will surely come soon, there is a small window to breathe. And in the meantime, I am triumphant. Bow before your king. I like how King Viserys is both my brother and my cousin. Ah, the good old Targaryen family circle. The death of a dragon rider? Ah. Lena Valarian died. Of the pox, which means Vagar is now. Who looks just absolutely fucking brutal. Ah, it shows the past riders of the dragons as well, that's cool. Taraki is forced to accept my rule and is firmly being confined back to Essos. I have proven that the Stepstones are mine, and I shall not let them go easily. My realm, strong and united under the rule, I now face a choice. To the east lies my longtime foe, licking their wounds. I could strike while they are weak, and bring this empire under my rule. To the west, my brother sits the Iron Throne. Though I love him, I know that he is no true dragon. Do I dare to challenge him? I could also swear fealty to the Iron Throne, surely adding a new kingdom. Several so of prize. Finally, I could simply rule my realm, content with the knowledge. I shouldn't tonk at the Tyrarchy, enough pretending the Iron Throne should be mine. The Stepstones are added to the Seven Kingdoms. I have proven I can conquer, and I can prove I can rule. Yeah, I've grown tired of this realm of rock. I shall return to the Red King. Honestly, I mean, uh, I, in canon-wise, Damon basically gets bored and just leaves. Uh, because he, yeah, he set out to do what he wanted to do. Now he's bored, and he's going to go off and do something else. But honestly, I might carve out, like, a fucking empire for Damon. Just, yeah. King and the, king and the frickin', uh, king in the east, lads. The, the dragon lord in the east. Uh, I won't go for the Iron Throne because I don't believe for a start that fucking Damon would ever, like, straight up go against his brother. Especially in the show, you see a lot is Damon pokes and prods his brother a lot, but it always came across to me, and season one was way better than season two, so it was way better written than my opinion. Is, uh, Damon never hated his brother at all. He loved him. And in his own, like, particularly blase way. Trying to poke his brother to get the reaction to, you know, be a dragon, be a dragon, you know, stand up, be stronger, you know, trying to fucking push him. He's pushing his buttons to get the reaction that he wanted, him, you know, so that he'd be, you know, better. So with that in mind, and the fact that he loves his brother, we shall conquer Essos, ladies and gentlemen. The rogue prince will go down in history as the, uh, the rogue king. Alright, well, they're running. So, 
Weeb will fly in with Karaxes and burn these assholes. I feel like we need more, like, events for this kind of stuff. I don't know. Ha! <laughs> I took your banner, bitch. We got there in time before them. Yeah, there you go. We're now defending. Damon has the dragon now. My bronze bitch will arrive to turn the tide. Oof! And Karaxes just fucking wrecks. Behold the power of the dragon. Marvel at its glory. Marvel at it. Burn me. I'll teach the assholes. Come and get me. Burn your villagers to the ground. Oop. Why is Royce in charge? What? Why is Royce in charge? A dragon has entered the world. Aaron. Who names the in dragon Aaron? The fuck happened there, guys? Why, why did we, this is what happens when you put the bronze bitch in charge. Damon's over here just fucking fighting. Oh, she did show up. She did show up, lads. But will it be enough? Yeah, no, it should be. We'll turn it around. Again, formidable fighter. Damon, you chad. Good lad, good lad. Wiping out Magisters one by one. My wound is healed. Excellent. Badass. And my Royce wife fucked up, but then came to save me afterwards. It's, a, it's kind of a getting to be a love-hate relationship between Damon and his missus. They still hate each other, but I think they're developing a, a mutual respect, almost, in a sense. Unironically, like, if not for Damon being, like, kind of shallow, I feel like he would have really gotten along with the Royce girl. Because they were both extremely fucking headstrong. They're both very fucking similar. It was actually a decent match. <laughs> Ironically. This, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the beginning of the Bronze Dragons. I don't know if this will be enough, though. Maybe if he keeps killing bitches. I mean, he, Damon has killed so many people. I refuse to get help from my brother. Damon refuses, dude. He will not get help from his brother. He will absolutely never get help from his brother. He's not gonna happen. Absolutely refuse categorically to ever send for aid. We will not go begging to King's Landing. I refuse. We will, it will not happen. I am not going to go begging. Damon Targaryen is no beggar prince. Like I said, I think the Royce is, like, the bronze bitch has been fighting with Damon in Essos now for, like, a couple of years. I think they have some kind of Admittedly hostile, mutual respect for each other. They basically, they hate fuck. That's 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 what I'm saying, is they hate fuck. Uh, can I put that in the YouTube? Probably not. Ribbon is a letter from the image of the heart adorned as a waxy seal. It's a letter from my niece and details of profound feelings to me. Uh, I kind of... She's banging a Royce? Oh, Damon's going to be pissed about this. Damon is going to be so pissed. There, yeah, there, he's going to shag his niece. There, there's no way he doesn't. I return her love. Love. Hate quotes. Yeah, no, I just feel like, I mean, technically speaking, I feel like Damon would make Volantis his capital, but Lise is the next best thing, pretty much. All that remains to do is keep his vassals in check and take the, and also to uh, bring Pentos to heal, more or less. Damon has reigned as king of the Free Daughters for many years now, but his wife, the Bronze Bitch, has recently departed from this world. They got a lot. They got along more than they would in canon, but since the Royces showed up for his war, they fought side by side and occasionally hate-fucked. Uh, which resulted, ladies and gentlemen, in the offspring and the young Prince Balon, who looks nothing like a Targaryen, much to Daemon's dismay. His mother died giving birth to the child, ultimately, uh, so Daemon is now free of his wife. Unfortunately for Daemon, his brother also passed from an illness not long ago with his niece, Rhaenyra, the beautiful, taking over. But Rhaenyra has been shagging her uncle this entire time, so Damon is basically, yeah, assumed that he'd probably end up having his children on the Iron Front. It's an assumption that he is making, because considering the fact that his only son, now, Balon, is taking after his mother, he believes that if the children of Rhaenyra were in fact her husbands, they would have the bronze hair of House Royce. The old blood shines through and all that. First men lineage. And hell, he's been banging his niece this entire time. So, undoubtedly, surely, the heir to the Iron Throne, young Viserys Targaryen, Prince of the Realm and Crown Heir, is certainly probably Daemon's child. Probably, maybe. I'm not going to check to confirm it, but as far as Daemon is concerned, it is his child. Rhaenyra denies this. Or at least says that she can't prove it, that we can't prove it, that there's no way to know. And that it could never come to light anyway, because the realm would see him as a bastard. The two argue, they end up fighting, Daemon storms away, returning to his kingdom in Essos and basically ignoring his young, freshly born son, because he looks nothing like a Targaryen. A bronze dragon through and through. So with the death of his brother, 
and uh, a falling out with his niece, the Queen of the Iron Throne. Being all but exiled from court and not able to claim his son as his own, his true son, his firstborn son, the son that should be his heir, instead he's stuck with the bronze dragon rather than the red. <laughs> Hey, dogs, I'm trying to do a monologue of, like, law. There's law going on. Stop barking. No barking while there's law. No. Uh, Damon returns home and does what Damon does best. Lash out violently. He has a parrot, by the way. This dude has a parrot. It's kind of awesome. He'll show the world who's the stronger Targaryen lads. Wait, is the Dornish getting involved? Yeah, the, the Yorn ones are getting involved in this. Whatever. Damon will march straight on Pentos. That'll teach them to resist. Nought shall be left but ash and ruin. Raise the holding to the ground, leaving nothing but ash and ruin in your wake. Holy shit. Yep, fuck it. That, that, that's... That's, uh... That's Damon lashing out right there. The province of the thing. He just burnt down a section of Pentos. Yes. Burn, my pretties. Burn! <laughs> what Rhaenyra gets. She seduced her uncle, and now Pentos is ruined. This is not Damon's fault. It's everybody else's fault. Just burnt an entire free city to the ground. Do you know how many people are in those things? Damon's son has hatched a dragon. Surely this is further proof that he is Damon's boy. No son of House Royce could possibly tame a dragon. That's madness. It is uh, the armies of Pentos. Ignoring the fact that I just burnt Pentos to a fucking crisp and there is no more Pentos. Ah, another dragon. That's all of that's all of my boys, Damon's kids, dude. That's all of the true blood of the dragon taming dragons, lads. Come back here, Ironwood. Come on, dude. You gotta pay the price for your insolence. How many, iron, how many Ironwoods are there that I'm going to have to kill? Whoa, we wipe out their entire shit there. I think I got him imprisoned. Yeah, I do. Goodbye. I will feed you to my dragon. I honestly... The Karstarks are getting involved? Question mark? What? Why are the Karstarks in the... Ow. What? <laughs> That's very strange. Oh, well. Damon will deal with that later. For now, let's go visit the Ironwoods and pay them a little, little visit, lads. Damon is pissed. Do not quit the dragon. Do not quit the dragon. You should not have given me this kind of power. You hear that? You hear that in the background? It's the dogs of war, bitch. I know they sound like little, little useless little things, but see, that's the dogs of war, motherfucker. Oh shit. No! No! Holy shit. Holy shit. The defenders of Ironwood have been putting up a decent fight, but of course none can stand against Caraxes and I. We have been burning their defenses from one side of the keep to the other. Focusing on orders to make house weapons and men to turn against us. As we turn back to the last of these, I see a lone man on a horse, somehow having managed to escape the flames, ride towards us, a spear in hand as if to lance us. Such bravery or foolishness I cannot tell. But as I direct Caraxes to turn and face him, I am surprised to see the man's spear fly from his hands and strike me square in the chest. The air is driven from my lungs, and I cannot even howl with Caraxes. I am dimly aware of the lurch as Caraxes rises into the sky. My limp form strapped down, head lolling back to stare at the sky. The rising smoke dripping embers looks so, so, so pretty. Taemon goes to burn ironwood and fucking... Jesus. My body, strapped to Caraxes, returned to your lines, damage done, but at great cost. King Damon, the free daughter souls, finally returned. He was he was killed while using his dragon in the siege. A conniving man, he will only be remembered for his pettiness and spite. King Balon ascends to the throne, merely two years old. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the rogue prince. Burning Pentos to ash, he then goes to dawn to burn the iron woods, only to get a spear in the chest. His last contact with Rhaenyra... Queen of the Iron Throne being one of an argument over the succession. And the young Balon is left in charge of the three daughters, though it remains to be seen if a two-year-old can, in fact, uh, hold the little kingdom together. It's currently in the regency of House Valarium, although I would say that he is currently imprisoned. Vaymond the Haughty. Time will tell what the future holds, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, it definitely, uh, it's definitely the case that King Damon, King Damon, the rogue dragon will go down in history as one of the most uh, brutal Targaryen rulers to ever live. And honestly, I think with the news of Daemon's death, uh, Rhaenyra basically steps in and takes after the boy's stewardship, arranging a betrothal between uh, her daughter, <coughs> by <coughs> by Daemon, <coughs> and betrothing her to uh, to young Balon, uniting the two branches of House Targaryen. 
As for Caraxes, in his grief, or per grief, or whatever that is, Caraxes is a chick? I feel like Caraxes is a girl. Whether it was grief or desire for freedom that drove Caraxes away, we may never know. She is now a wild dragon, flying around Dawn. I imagine just, well, actually, shit, we now know what, we know exactly why Caraxes has done this. In her furious anger at the fact that they killed her rider, she is basically flying around Dawn just burning fucking everybody. Like, yeah. So Caraxes is now a wild dragon. Just flying around Dawn, brutally murdering Dornishmen, more or less. Yeah, Rhaenyra in, I'm assuming like grief and guilt and feeling bad about how she left him was with Daemon and then he went off and got himself killed is basically looking after Baelor. She's basically taking the boy and he'll be warded at, uh, at King's Landing while the Valerons hold together the three daughters uh, as much as they can, I suppose. But Balon will go to King's Landing and be raised alongside his, well, brothers and sisters, basically. Though I imagine it raises some eyebrows considering the fact that it's the he is the only targaryen that got the bronze hair and all of rhaenyra's children have got the silver hair <laughs> we'll rally the troops and the valerons will send word to rhaenyra that the uh that the soc are rising up in rebellion rhaenyra is just gonna land and devastate the living shit out of them all i'm sure there are plenty of whispers in court for basically the argument of like bringing the three daughters into the fold but uh I think, I think Rhaenyra knows that that would royally piss off Daemon, that she'd be stealing his, his son's crown and all that, so I don't think, I think Rhaenyra is the only one saying, no, well, you're not doing this. Uh, the rest of the lords are all just, you should do this. But Rhaenyra's position is way stronger than it is in, like, canon, because for a start, all of her children look like Targaryens. So even if there are, and there will be whispers in court that her children are actually the offspring of Daemon, uh, that's still two Targaryens. It's not like she's fucked Howard Strong and they don't look like Targaryens. Her kids all look like Targaryens. And even if the rumors are true, then they're pure-blooded Targaryens. So, yeah. And some people might gripe about Rhaenyra being a woman, but there's pretty much no alternatives. Because uh, in this timeline, Alicent never had any sons. She died. She had a daughter, Visenya, but she died uh, of the pox. And then I think... She died of the pox, and everyone died of the pox. So there's no competing claimants. It's just Rhaenyra. She is the only child. So there's no, like, other than Daemon, other than Daemon, there was no competing claims to the Iron Throne. So Rhaenyra is ruling uncontested. And so, ladies and gentlemen, with Daemon's passing, leaving his realm in the hands of a two-year-old boy who will be taken up by Rhaenyra, We'll, uh, we'll wrap up here, because that is the Rogue Prince's story come to a close, and I will continue it with the Bronze Dragon in another video, which should be coming shortly, because there is so much I want to record while I have early access to the mod, so I want to upload as much as I can for you guys. So yes, the Bronze Dragon, coming soon, boys. We have to go watch that if you want to continue the story, because this was only supposed to be the Rogue Prince, which we've done. I did not expect it to end this way, but there we go. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video, where Balon will, uh... Yeah, let's just say Balon's gonna do a lot of stuff, uh, and Westeros will never be the same again. <laughs> he he's a bit of a bit of he's something he's something he is his father's son, ironically because Damon never loved him. But uh, time will tell that uh, Balon the Bronze is definitely his father's son. I thank you for watching. That is all for now. Remember to like, subscribe, click on all the buttons as if you don't know where they are by now. Every YouTuber tells you to do it. You know what you're doing. I'll see you guys in the next video. So out. This war is far from over.